The biggest flops of the 2020 NFL season. Subscribe to Sports Mafia for more videos. Le'Veon Bell, running back, New York Jets. After signing a four-year, $52.5 million contract with Gang Green, he managed just 789 rushing yards, averaged a career-low 3.2 yards per carry, and recorded 66 receptions over 15 games. But it's easy to see why there's still Bell hype. He's only 28 years old, recorded 1,200 yard seasons in 2016 and 2017, and has been on a social media campaign to show off the great shape he's in ahead of the season. And yet, Bell could easily flop again because he isn't playing in a potent offense. The unit ranked dead last in 2019, and the Jets added a security blanket in reliable veteran Frank Gore. Melvin Gordon, running back, Denver Broncos. Some Gordon hype is understandable. He missed the first four weeks of mid-contract holdout with the Los Angeles Chargers last season, but he is a productive back who has scored at least 8 rushing touchdowns and caught at least 40 passes in each of his last four seasons. But there's no guarantee Gordon's new AFC West team will use him enough to justify his two-year, $16 million deal in free agency. After all, the offense boasts Philip Lindsay, who has recorded a consecutive 1,000-yard seasons along with 16 touchdowns and a 4.9 yards per carry average. Head coach Vic Fangio said he expects to use a committee approach, and given Lindsay's head start in the offense, fresher legs, and arguably more versatile talent, he could quickly make Gordon one of the year's bigger flops. Austin Hooper, tight end, Cleveland Browns. It's clear the team wanted a safety net for Baker Mayfield, but the Browns gave him 42 million over four years, and he's just recorded 2,244 yards and 16 touchdowns over four seasons in the NFL with the Atlanta Falcons. Cleveland may be banking on the tight end to become more productive in his offense. And while the Browns appear to have promised going to 2020, that was also true prior to a disappointing 6-10 campaign in 2019. In Cleveland, Hooper will have to share targets with Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, and David Njoku, which can mean a regression, not a leap. Rob Gronkowski, tight end, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Gronk's big hyped return to the NFL after a year away comes with serious question marks. He's 31 and has a lengthy injury history for starters. And he's going to be fighting with weapons like Mike Evans and Chris Godwin for targets from Tom Brady in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. Gronk switched teams for the first time in his career, but it's even scarier that Brady did the same prior to his age 43 campaign. Keep in mind Gronk hasn't put up monster numbers in recent years either. In 2018, he saw 72 targets but mustered just 682 yards and 3 touchdowns, with his lowest yards per catch average since 2014. While the hype around Gronk is huge, the tight end could have a muted role in Tampa Bay's offense. Chris Harris Jr., defensive back, Los Angeles Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers poached the cornerback from the AFC West rival Broncos for $17 million over two years. But the nine-year veteran is 31 years old and he didn't have a standout 2019 season. He allowed 49 catches on 73 targets and four touchdowns, and Pro Football Focus gave him a grade of 69.9. The year prior, he allowed 46 catches on 71 targets with four scores in coverage. Harris could find himself struggling to elevate a secondary that ranked 5th in 2019 and has already lost star safety Derwin James to a knee injury. Josh Allen, quarterback, Buffalo Bills. The arrow seems to be pointing up for Allen as he heads into year 3, which is traditionally a breakout year for passers. It doesn't hurt that the Bills made a big splash by acquiring wideout Stefan Diggs in a trade with the Minnesota Vikings. But Allen's completion rate partially explains a 64.2 grade from PFF. The 24-year-old signal caller indicated he hopes to run less in 2020, but that could make his game more predictable for opposing defenses. While early scrimmages against backups produce flashy headlines for Allen, the quarterback looked scattershot. Allen could have an up-and-down year as opposed to a massive leap. Phillip Rivers, quarterback, Indianapolis Colts The big money arrival comes with a few butts attached to him. Rivers is 38 and changing teams for the first time in his career after his first notable regression as a player. Last year with the Los Angeles Chargers, he completed 66% of his passes for 4,615 yards, but threw 23 touchdowns compared to 20 interceptions, and the team went from 12 wins to 5. Accordingly, his PFF grade went from 90.8 to 74.3. Along with those red flags, one could argue Rivers had a better, proven supporting cast in Los Angeles, making him one of the year's biggest flop candidates. That's it for today's Sports Mafia video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more Sports Mafia content, click the circle subscribe button so you never miss a single video. Hope you enjoyed.